A cylindrical rod of length 50 cm and cross sectional area 1 cm square is fitted between a large ice chamber at 0 degree and an evacuated chamber maintained at 27 degree. Only small portion of the rod are inside the chamber and the rest is thermally insulated from the surrounding. That is, this complete surface is insulated. The cross section going into the evacuated chamber is blackened. This part is totally blackened so that it completely absorbs any radiation falling on it. The temperature of the blackened end is 17 degree when steady state is reached. We have to calculate the thermal conductivity of the rod. Now clearly that this is at higher temperature, this is at lower temperature. So what happens is some power or the sum of the heat will flow in this direction and the heat that is flowing will be equal to the radiations falling on it. Okay, so this is the concept that energy that is flowing in this direction can be written as K into that is thermal conductivity of the rod into area of cross section of the rod into temperature difference. Let's say this is my temperature T2, this is my temperature T1, this is the room temperature that is let's say T0. So I do have Ka T2 minus T1 into length and this energy is coming from the radiation that is falling on black and then so it is given by emissivity into area of cross section into sigma into t2 to the power i mean sorry t0 to the power 4 minus t2 to the power 4 now i do have all the values just to substitute it area gets cancelled the value of k t2 is 17 minus 0 length is 50 centimeter or 0.5 meter into emissivity is 1 because it is a black body and sigma is given as 6 into 10 to the power minus 8 it comes out with 27 to the power 4 or I must convert it into Kelvin first so 27 degrees 300 so 300 to the power 4 minus T2 that is 17 that is 290 to the power 4 just solve this equation for the value of K I get the value of K as 1.8 watt per meter per degree celsius that is my answer